you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries february 2nd tuesday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 2 verses 22 to 32 when the time came for their purification according to the law of moses they brought him up to jerusalem to present him to the lord as it is written in the law of the lord every first born male shall be designated as holy to the lord and they offer a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the lord a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons now there was a man in jerusalem whose name was simeon this man was righteous and devout looking forward to the consolation of israel and the holy spirit rested on him it had been revealed to him by the holy spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the lord's messiah guided by the spirit simeon came into the temple and when the parents brought in the child jesus to do for him what was customary under the law simeon took him in his arms and praised god saying master now you are dismissing your servant in peace according to your word for my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples a light for revelation to the gentiles and for glory to your people israel the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ dear friends today we celebrate the feast of the day of a consecrated life yes at the time of jesus birth there was a man named zimeo who had spent his whole life for preparing for one significant moment like all of faithful jews at the time zimeo was waiting for the coming of messiah the holy spirit had revealed to him that he would indeed see the messiah before his death and so this happened when mary and joseph brought jesus into the temple to offer him to the lord as an infant try to imagine the scene simeon had lived a holy and devoted life and deep with his conscience his he knew that his life on earth would not come to an end until he was privileged to see the savior of the world with his own eyes he knew this by a special gift of faith an interior revelation of the holy spirit that he revealed it's helpful to think about this unique gift of knowledge that simeon had throughout his life normally he gained knowledge through our five senses we see something hear something taste smell or feel something and as a result come to know it to be true physical knowledge is a very reliable and is a normal way we come to know things but this gift of knowledge simeon had was different it was deeper and was spiritual in nature he knew he would see the messiah before he died not because of say some external sensory perception he had per- received the but because of an interior revelation from the holy spirit dear friends this truth be- begs the question which type of knowledge is more certain something you see with your eyes touch smell hear or taste or something that god speaks to you in the depths of your soul by a revelation of grace though these types of knowledge are different it's important to understand that the spiritual knowledge that is given by the holy spirit is far more certain than anything perceived through the five senses alone the spiritual knowledge has the power to change your life and direct all your actions toward that revelation yes dear friends reflect today anything that our lord has spoken to you in the depths of your soul too often we ignore his gentle voice as it speaks preferring instead of instead to live only in the sensory world but the spiritual reality within us must become the center and foundation of our lives it is there where god speaks and it is there where we too will discover the center central purpose and meaning of our lives 
years. My spiritual Lord, I thank you for the countless ways in which you speak to me today. In the depths of my soul, help me to be always attentive to you and to your gentle voice as you speak to me. May your voice and your voice alone become the guide, guiding direction of my life. May I trust in your word and never waver from the mission you have given to me. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. May God bless us.